Arinze, the boy that saw the future. Once upon a time in a small village called Kutata, there was a boy named Arinze. Arinze was a young boy who had a special ability to see the future. However, instead of being admired for his gift, people in the village avoided him and considered him to be cursed. They called him names like outcast, wizard, demon, devil, and bad luck. Arinze would often cry to his mother about the way people mocked him. His mother, on the other hand, always encouraged him and told him that his gift of visions was given to him by the gods. So, whenever his peers made fun of him, he would proudly tell them that he was the son of the gods. Over time, he started sharing his visions with his peers and neighbors, even though they would laugh and not believe him. But surprisingly, as time went on, his visions would come true. For example, he once warned a chief in their community not to go out for two consecutive days because something bad was going to happen to him. The chief listened and stayed home on the first day, but on the second day, he ignored the warning and went out. Unfortunately, he was poisoned and died. When the news of the chief's death spread throughout the village, his wife accused the little boy of killing her husband and reported him to the king. The king summoned Arinze to the palace and, without listening to his side of the story, sent him into exile to a distant land. Arinze tried to explain to the king that he had seen a vision of something terrible happening to the kingdom and that he needed to perform certain rituals to prevent it. However, the king ignored his pleas and ordered his exile. Arinze's mother pleaded with the king, crying and explaining that her son was not evil but was simply expressing his gift of vision which should be appreciated and taken seriously. She warned that the kingdom would suffer due to their negligence in listening to Arinze. Arinze was forced to go into exile and several weeks later, a rival neighboring kingdom attacked their land, killing many people and plundering their riches and royal possessions. The kingdom was consumed by grief and the king remembered Arinze's vision. Realizing their mistake, the king urgently sent for Arinze. When Arinze arrived, the king humbly apologized for the mistreatment he had endured and for disregarding his visions. The king informed Arinze about the devastating ambush they had faced, resulting in loss of lives and property. He asked if there was any way to appease the gods to prevent such events from happening again in the future. Arinze shared the rituals that needed to be performed to appease the gods and protect against future attacks and omens. After the rituals were carried out, peace and calmness returned to the land. From that moment on, Arinze became a respected figure in the kingdom. People sought his guidance and heeded his visions. They realized the true value of his gift 
and the importance of listening to him. Arinze's reputation as the boy that saw the future spread far and wide. Leaders from neighboring villages and kingdoms came to seek his counsel, knowing that his visions held great wisdom and foresight. Arinze used his gift to guide them, helping to prevent conflicts and disasters. The king, deeply grateful for Arinze's assistance, appointed him as his trusted advisor. Arinze worked closely with the king, providing insights and warnings that helped the kingdom thrive and avoid calamities. The people began to understand the significance of embracing the unique abilities of individuals like Arinze, rather than shunning them out of fear or misunderstanding. Arinze's influence extended beyond the realms of visions. He became an advocate for acceptance and understanding, promoting unity among the villagers. His story inspired others to appreciate diversity and appreciate the various gifts each person possessed. Over time, the village of Kutata flourished under Arinze's guidance. The once skeptical villagers recognized the immense value of his visions and respected him as a wise and insightful leader. Arinze continued to use his gift to protect the kingdom, ensuring a prosperous and peaceful future. As the years passed, Arinze's name became legendary, not only in Kutata, but throughout the entire region. His story was passed down from generation to generation, reminding people of the power of embracing uniqueness and the importance of heeding the insights of those who possessed extraordinary gifts. Arinza's journey from a misunderstood outcast to a revered seer taught the villagers an invaluable lesson about the potential within every individual. His tale became a beacon of hope, encouraging others to embrace their own abilities and see the beauty in what made them different. And so, the boy who had once been ridiculed and cast aside found his rightful place as a cherished and respected member of his community. Arinze's visions continued to shape the destiny of the village, guiding them towards a future filled with prosperity, unity, and understanding. This is the end of the story. What do you think about this story? Please put your views in the comment section. And if you love this story, kindly like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, African Sounds and Stories, for more interesting stories. Finally, turn on the bell notification so that you'll be the first to receive our new stories. Thanks for watching.